I don't know. I feel safer if there was signage. I can't you're, really tell. You're a man. You're not a girl. Even the girls don't ask me. These yeah, but that, that has nothing to do with your, your race or your sex. It has to do with legitimacy. If yeah. you have a car here, that guy could be a taxi too, right? Which well, one? how about that guy no, over there? No, he has to show you the license. But you showed me something that doesn't really look legitimate. I'm Natish Bassano inside Pearson International Airport. Now it's here at the arrival zone where some taxi drivers will actually make their way inside and solicit passengers before they even walk out the door. Now the problem with these taxi drivers is that they don't have proper licensing and they often charge more than what you should be paying. It's a problem that's been going on for years. Travelers being scammed by drivers who claim to have legitimate taxi services. One airport employee had enough. He reached out to City News to speak out but asked to remain anonymous. From what I've heard, they're charging double to triple the rate. I've heard of one young lady paying upwards of $100 to go to square one. And if they were just to wait upstairs for either a cab or a limo, they would be paying probably about 30 to $40. I haven't used their services, but from being there and you talk, they all say they're charging upwards of $100, this for sometimes a 15-minute drive. He told us about one particular scooper who hangs around the front of door B at Terminal 3's arrival area. I decided to find him, and instead, he found me. I just want to find out, are you guys a legitimate taxi? Sorry? Are you guys a legitimate taxi? I've seen your, your partner over there getting yeah. people. Yeah, why are you guys oh, inside here? But are you, are you a legitimate service? Huh? Are you a legitimate taxi service? Well, I have taxi license. But why are you bringing people in different corners, in different areas? Well, we just ask people for taxi. Somebody need a taxi. Someone had wrote to us about you saying that you're scamming people and you're charging them more than they should. No, I never charge anybody more than that. Whatever the rate is, well, I charge them accordingly. You're still going about with your, your business a bit shady, don't you find? No, no, I'm just charging the, the fare is the right fare is. We reached out to GTAA about this problem. They're well aware of what's going on, and in a statement, they tell City News, to deter such activity, our private security provider monitors the public arrival areas at both airport terminals for unlicensed taxi drivers. And we use public education to inform passengers of the license options when they arrive. We also cooperate with Peel Regional Police on this matter who can lay charges against unlicensed drivers. We also reached out to Peel Regional Police on the matter. They couldn't provide us with a statement or an interview. If you don't trust a scalper, for, like for instance, at downtown at the ECC, you wouldn't trust someone like this. It's the exact same thing. Now, for travelers who are unaware, there are a few ways to find out if a taxi is legit or not. For starters, you want to look for license stickers or in-cab licenses. Don't ever follow anyone in a parking lot. And remember, only licensed taxis are allowed to be in this pickup and drop-off area. Now, this story was brought to us by a viewer. If you have a story or news in the making, here are some of the ways you can contact us. From Pearson International Airport, I'm Natish Bassono, City News.